Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are gonna be talking all about my fall makeup essentials. So obviously I have a lot of favorites and a lot of products that I'm always recommending to you guys, but these are products that I feel like everybody needs to have in their collection. They are staples and I really tried to narrow it down. So I have about 11 products and lots of lip products by the way. So you've been warned, but like honestly, I'm really surprised. Like this is me we're talking about. Lip products are my weakness and I have some really good options in today's video. And like everything that I have here, I feel like is just good for everybody and anybody you will love these products and they're the bomb. So we're gonna just jump straight into it. Make sure you guys grab a snack, get cozy, and let's get into some fall makeup essentials. Alrighty, so no particular order. We're gonna start with some eye products first, and I have one of my new obsessions, you guys. I cannot put this palette down. So this is the Milani Ungilded Most Loved Mattes Palette. I love everything about this. The packaging, the aesthetic, the colors, like everything about this palette is perfection. So I picked this up from Walmart. I showed it in a haul a few weeks back, and I cannot stop using it. It is just the perfect fall palette. The mattes are creamy and pigmented, super smooth, buttery. They layer really well. You get 12 shades in here, you get a mirror. It is $15, so I feel like for a drugstore, it's a little bit up there in price, but I feel like for what you get and for the quality of these eyeshadows, it is so worth it. This is what I have on my eyes today. And I love incorporating this whenever I do matte looks or just whenever I'm doing any other looks using other palettes. I love the mattes in here because they're great transition colors. They're just great shades to have just for any kind of look, honestly. And I know that there's a million palettes like this already on the market, but this is a drugstore palette that's all matte, that's creamy and buttery, and I feel like that is hard hard to find at the drugstore. Cause don't get me wrong, I love drugstore eyeshadows. There's a lot of really great brands that I'm obsessed with, but it's really hard to find an all matte palette nowadays that isn't chalky and that's actually really pigmented and this is it. So it's really refreshing to have a palette like this at a drugstore price point that you can just pick up at Walmart because like I mentioned, a lot of palettes nowadays have mattes and shimmers, which is fun, but having an all matte palette like this is essential. My next essential for this fall is a good liquid liner. This is better than high end. So this is the Essence Super Precise Eyeliner. This is long lasting and waterproof and I 100% agree. This is not only super long wearing but the formula is super black and it dries down matte. And if you guys are familiar with the NYC liquid liner which I feel like was everyone's favorite way back when, that was one of my all time favorite liquid liners and unfortunately it has been discontinued but this is the closest thing I have ever found to that liner. So if you liked that, you will love this and it's like $3 so it's like around the similar price point that the NYC one was and it's so easy to work with. The brush applicator is so tiny and thin. Just like the name, it is super precise and I just love the formula of this. Like I said, it's so black and matte. It's what I have on today. And I know that now I feel like winged liner is a lot more, I don't want to say popular because winged liner is so timeless and you can wear it with any look all year. But in the fall and winter, I love winged liner with lashes and like a bold lip. It's such a classic timeless look that I feel like a lot of people tend to rock during this time of year, especially. So a good liquid liner is necessary. Speaking of liners, let's talk about waterline liners. I wanted to mention these from LA Girl because they are not only only beautiful colors for the fall, but the finishes are stunning and it just adds a little extra pop to your look. These are the LA Girl Shockwave Metallic Eyeliners. So this is what they look like. Up top we have Gold Metal, which is a light gold. Lola Baby, which is a nude cream shade. Brown Sugar is a light metallic-y brown. And then we have Penny, which is a light copper. So these are creamy pigmented and they glide on the waterline. They don't irritate my eyes. Today on my waterline I'm wearing the shade Brown Sugar and I love it. I feel like this complements brown eyes really well. I mean, obviously anybody with any eye color can rock these and they're gonna look amazing on you but I love brown liner with brown eyes and these three are really nice for everyday looks or neutral looks Lola baby is one of my favorites for every day because it is that light cream with just that really pretty finish on the waterline they come in a bunch of other colors as well but these are my standout ones that I feel like obviously are perfect for fall let's talk about complexion so I wanted to include a foundation in here because this is a foundation that I love all year round and a foundation that I feel like is a good like transitional foundation from like summer to the fall and the winter and this is the dose of colors meet your hue foundation i cannot get enough of this by the way i'm wearing like the majority of all these products on my face today but this is one of my all-time favorite high-end foundations that i actually think is worth a splurge and you guys know i am a drugstore girl at heart i love my affordable products and the nyx can't stop won't stop foundation is a really good dupe and the closest that i have found to this foundation but i will say this is 100 percent worth it i just love everything about the foundation first of all the shade range is amazing i'm in the shade 115 light medium by the way but the formula the way that it blends the way that it sits on the skin is just so beautiful and I feel like this is one of those foundations that looks even more beautiful the longer that you wear it it has amazing coverage it lasts all day it is one of the most long wearing foundations
foundations that I have in my entire collection. It's really that good. I love it too because it's not drying. It's like a really soft, comfortable, natural matte finish. But again, it has amazing coverage while still feeling really lightweight on the skin. Also, my coupon code with Dose of Colors is still active from now until the end of October. So if you guys do want to splurge on Dose of Colors, you can use my code and get a little discount. It is an affiliate code. You don't have to use it. But if you do, I really, really appreciate it. But I truly do love this foundation. I've been using it for a while and I feel like I always go back to it. Okay, let's talk about cheeks because I feel like cream blush has just exploded in the makeup world and I don't know where I've been without cream blush because now I feel like I can't live without it. So let's talk about these Undone Beauty Lip to Cheek Palettes. These are very similar to high-end formula, the texture, how well they last, like the pigmentation, everything is so on point. These are my two favorite colors. We have Rosewood and Poppy. So Rosewood is my favorite kind of go-to everyday shade. Obviously it's warm, so it's perfect for pretty much any kind of look in the fall season. I mean, look at the pigment on these, you guys. It's insane. But the formula is so seamless. It melts into the skin while still giving you the most perfect wash of color. And you can also use these on your lips as well if you want like a light wash of color, which I think would be really pretty for like everyday kind of makeup. Also, the finish of these is really pretty. It's gonna give your cheeks like a natural dewy look. So Rosewood is one of my favorites. And then this is a newer favorite for me in Poppy. And Poppy is just that really gorgeous everyday raspberry color. It's a great shade with a lot of different looks and these will complement I feel like a lot of different skin tones as well because the pigment is so on point and obviously the more that you use the more buildable they're going to be but they're very pigmented just with like a little bit of product so less is more. The next liquid blush is actually what I'm wearing today and I wanted to mention this because I feel like we all need a good red blush and I never thought that I would be the person to love red blush but here I am so I have the Rare Beauty liquid blush. You guys know these are bomb. I have all the colors and honestly I love them all but I wanted to mention red because I feel like this is a universal color that I know can be very intimidating, but I'm telling you guys, this is so wearable and so easy to use. So this is what I'm wearing today and I actually don't have any powder blush over top. I just added some powdered bronzer and some translucent powder and then some highlighter, but this is the blush and you can just see how wearable it is. I just use one dot, blend it out with my e.l.f. Complexion Duo brush and it is so pretty. And this red is universal, so it's gonna look good on everybody no matter what look you're doing. So that's why I feel like it's a good blush to kind of have in your collection as a staple and a little bit goes a long way. So this is the color. I didn't even tell you the color. <laughs> um, grateful. You guys know Rare Beauty blushes, like you just need a little bit. And if you don't know, now you do. Don't use too much because the pigment is real. It blends really easily. And I know that this is obviously a splurge. It's $20 for a liquid blush, but hear me out. You just need a little bit and this will last you forever. Like, I feel like I'm gonna have this until I'm like literally 30. Don't let the color fool you. It's wearable, it's easy to blend, lasts all day, and it's gonna look beautiful on your skin. On like, I feel like everybody's skin tone. This will look stunning. So the rest of the products that I have are all lip products. So let's start off with these lipsticks. Okay, I posted an Instagram reel and I talked about these and I'm sure you guys have seen these going around TikTok. By the way, I'm finally back on TikTok. I made another account and I posted my first video. So if you guys wanna go follow me on TikTok, I'm back and I will be posting more on there. Anyways, I talked about these on Instagram on my reels and I am obsessed with these lipsticks. So these are the Milani Color Fetish Matte Lipsticks. This is what I'm wearing today. These lipsticks are like literally high end. Everything from the packaging to the formula to the colors is so luxe and beautiful. So the shade Tease is what I'm wearing today with an LA Girl lip liner and then a NYX gloss over top. But the lipsticks alone are super comfortable, creamy. I need 10 of these and I need to stock up on this lipstick so I can have it for the rest of my life because this is the perfect nude. That is obviously my favorite color. And then another color that I love, this one is Pleasure. And Pleasure, you can see it's a little bit more on the pink side, whereas Tease is a lot more neutral. And then we have the shade Desire. Desire I think would be stunning if you are tanner, darker, or even if you are lighter and you just want a really pretty brown. This is gorgeous because it's not like too much, but it definitely is a little bit darker and I think it's a beautiful fall color. And then this color, I definitely want to do like a simple kind of winged liner look with like a pop of color on the lips with the shade Sensual. So that is Sensual there on the bottom. So the formula is just so like velvety matte, but like again, not drying, super creamy. The pigment is so on point and like, I mean, these colors are absolutely stunning. Okay, let's chat about lip liners. So I have these from LA Girl, and by the way, I have so many favorite lip liners, but these are kind of like the newest ones in my collection as of like a few months ago. These are the LA Girl Shockwave Nude Lip Liners. Just like their eyeliners, it's the same exact formula, it's just like for your lips, but they launched the 
these like nude lip liners and they have a ton of different colors. They have some pink, some darker shades. The formula glides on. It's super creamy. You can actually like fill in your entire lips with them. That's what I have on today. I have on the shade Maple Glaze, but I also love the shade Gingerbread as well. So these are the colors. Up top we have Maple Glaze and then on the bottom we have Gingerbread. So Maple Glaze is a little bit lighter. Gingerbread is obviously a little bit more brown, but this is truly so luxe on the lips when you apply it. It doesn't feel like it's a $5 lip liner. Like this feels like it could be like 15 bucks at Sephora or at Ulta. Next up I have some liquid lipsticks that I wanted to mention and this is my favorite liquid lipstick formula ever. So way back when my favorite liquid lipstick formula was Smashbox and Ofra and since then I have just fallen more in love with Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks and I know that not everybody loves liquid lipsticks anymore because I feel like that's so like 2016 and when people think of 2016 and liquid lipsticks you just think of like dry kind of cement on your lips but I have three words for you guys dose of colors. Their formula is so velvety and soft. It's not drying and it's one of those liquid lipsticks that you can wear and you don't have to worry about it. It's comfortable. You don't have to add a gloss if you don't want to. Like it feels good. So that's why I really like them, especially if I'm like going out to eat or if I know I'm going to be out and about and I just don't want to have to worry about my lip color. I love wearing a good lip liner with a liquid lipstick. So not only is the formula amazing also, by the way, but they have some of the best selection as far as like the colors in their liquid lipsticks. They have beautiful colors and these are my top four favorites here. And then I have a pop of color here, of course, that I wanted to mention. But like, I mean, I know they're all nudes, but like you already knew that was coming. So these are hands down my favorite nude liquid lipstick. So we're going to start with the first shade. Cozy is just that classic light nude. This just looks good with anything and everything. The next color we have is Catching Feelings. So Catching Feelings I love also because it's a little bit darker than Cozy. And it has a slightly more kind of pink undertone to it. Then I have the shade Cork. And Cork, I love because it is such a wearable brown. Quirk is one of those colors where you apply it when you don't want something that's too light, but you also don't want to commit to like a really bold lip color. It's like that happy medium. It's not too dark. It's not too light. It's perfect. It's fall in a tube. And I also love the shade Knock on Wood. Knock on Wood is just like that everyday kind of peachy neutral brown. You can see comparing it to the other two nudes up top, Cozy and Catching Feelings, it's a lot more warm and it has some like orangey peachy undertones. It's like the perfect everyday peachy light neutral brown so I love lipsticks and lip gloss but sometimes a liquid lipstick is necessary and this formula is so on point you guys need to try it for yourselves and see what I'm talking about and then the last color I wanted to mention here is extra saucy so extra saucy is that deep vampy red whenever I wear red lipstick I feel so empowered and beautiful and this is a stunning red shade It's kind of like the color of red roses honestly if you look at it in the back it's a little bit deeper and just comparing it to like for instance the rare beauty blush you can see it's not a super bright like holiday day red. It is just a deep, true vampy red. Last but not least, I have some glosses. So I'll start with the high end first and then we'll end off on a good note with some good drugstore glosses. So first I have the Fenty Beauty Cream Gloss Bomb. So I love the original gloss bombs. They are one of my favorite high end glosses like ever, but the cream gloss formula is so good. And I wish that they would have more colors in these because I think I like the cream gloss finish more than their regular gloss bombs. Honestly, like it's just such a creamy, juicy, wet finish to your lips. And these in particular give you just the right amount of pigment that you can wear these on their own and they just make your lips look so luscious. So I love the shade Honey Waffles and then Fenty Glow, which is just like the universal color. So Honey Waffles is like that light kind of orangey, delicious lip gloss. I know it can look a little intimidating, like kind of pumpkin-y vibes, but for real on the lips, it is stunning. And you can just see like how shiny and wet your lips are going to look. Like the pigment that you get on here, that's what you're going to get on your lips, but it's not too much and it's not going to be like a globby lip gloss. But I love this paired with lip liner and then this gloss over top. It looks so good. Good. I always have to use lip liner with the exception of this color Fenty Glow. This is one of those colors where I do wear it sometimes just on its own without any lip liner because it's kind of like your lips but better. It just enhances your natural lips and ugh, that finish is just everything. And I love the fact that they're not sticky. It's just a straight up creamy, luscious, juicy formula on the lips. I love it. And last but certainly not least, NYX Butter Glosses. I have loved these since I was probably like 15, 16 years old. 10 years later, still obsessed. And recently, I, well, I don't know how recent actually, within the past couple months, I noticed that they did come out with some like more like brown kind of colors, which I feel like are ideal obviously for different skin tones. And I feel like they created these to kind of have like your perfect brown or your perfect nude for everyday looks. Because whenever I went into Ulta, they had these glosses paired kind of like on display with a lip liner to kind of match, which I love that because it makes shopping for makeup and shopping for like everyday kind of products so easy. But these colors are stunning. And one of my favorite shades, which is what I have on today over top of the Milani lipstick is Madeline. I am obsessed because it's a neutral. It's like a true 
true neutral gloss. If you don't like the feeling of a lot of lip gloss on and you just want something lightweight, you will like these. These are definitely a lot more lightweight and like a thinner formula than the Fenty cream glosses. Those are definitely a little bit thicker. They have more pigment to them, but these are still gonna be juicy on your lips. It's just like a more lightweight formula. That's why I personally really like them over top of other lip products. I usually don't really wear these on their own. So this is like that everyday kind of gloss or like that topper gloss that you can use with so many different lip combos and it's gonna look good every single time. And I also love the NYX Butter Gloss Formula because still to this day, like years later, it's not sticky, it's super creamy and it smells amazing and they offer a huge variety of different shades. So Madeline is one of my favorites and then I'll swatch a couple other ones that I really love that I think could work with, again, different skin tones or different makeup looks that you wanna do. So this one is Fudge Me. Fudge Me, you can see it's a little bit darker, it's more brown. And then we have the shade Spiked Toffee. I think Spiked Toffee is the prettiest kind of like toffee rose shade. It's right here. I know these kind of all look the same, but I promise they're different. And then Butterscotch is there on the bottom. Butterscotch is similar to Madeline, but it's a little bit more sheer and it's a little bit lighter than Madeline up top. So those are all of my fall makeup essentials. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to check the description box below. I will link all the products and everything mentioned if you're interested. And if you guys have any other must-haves that you absolutely swear by, whether that's makeup or skincare, let me know down below because I always say a lot of the things that I love are because of your recommendations. You guys are so on point. So leave me a comment and that is it for today's video thank you guys so much for being here and hanging out with me today and i will see you very soon in my next one bye